Here, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Will William has put out a guess. I don't know. If I was the betting man, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'd take that. The end of the stream is in 30 minutes. Three zero minutes. Uh, Pavin Deep won. So congratulations. Yeah, so guys, see you later, B-Nates. Have a good day, man. Uh, I'm going to do one more raffle at 1 o'clock to close out the stream, and then I'm going to be going around E3 to see what's up. Do I have any missions? Nope. All right, guys. So for those of you who don't know about... Um, oh, that's right. Sweet. This is my build. Awesome. So Rival Knights is our uh, jousting game. It's pretty awesome. Uh, as Chris has said in chat, the ragdoll physics for when people fly off are just like truly phenomenal. Uh, it's awesome. They just go everywhere. The next time I'm playing MC5 will be Thursday. So Thursday will be the next time that I'm playing MC5, which will be awesome. Oh, sorry, uh, liars. Didn't mean to miss you. I apologize, buddy. It's nice to see you again. No, nah, Frostscope, we don't ignore you. It's just I have a lot of people chatting, and so I can't really do anything. Uh, this is quite different than any uh, other jousting games. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, this actually, the team that made MC4 worked on this, so it's pretty awesome. Looks pretty solid. Um, so right now, what we're looking at is you have three stats that matter in Rival Knights, which is pretty cool. Or they all change and they all depend on your opponent. You have your defense, your horse speed and your attack so the shield is your defense the horse is the horse speed and the fist is your attack and so it's like you want to have higher um stats than your opponent obviously so it's pretty sweet right now i'm beating prince Burnin in two of them let's see how i do three two one go perfect start So far, so good. All right, so now it's all about aiming. Boom. Wrecked. Yeah, Rival Knights. Uh, Bob Bob. See, Watch Ryan's not going to ignore me. Boom, you're right. I am not going to ignore you. Yeah, MC5 stuff's over for the day. I'm going to do one more raffle at uh, 1 o'clock, so in like 30 minutes-ish. And uh, I will give away one more copy for MC5. Do we plan to offer a starter pack on my list? That's interesting. Um, actually, I don't know. That's a really good question. I'll have to check with the dev team. Basically, uh, everybody I've talked to has been able to progress um, through the game so far. I know like Chris has done it pretty well. Uh, so how big is... I don't know which one you're talking about, CFO. You have to let me know which game. Oh, P Pistol Pro Gamer. I'll definitely lose at some point. Uh, don't worry. I promise you, I will lose at some point. I promise you, I will lose. It'll be good to go. Hey, Pine and Apple. How you doing, buddy? MC5 is out in summer 2014. So from today until early September, that's when it'll more than likely come out. Uh, yes, that was a low pro or a low pro plugin in Chrome. I like watching a lot of streams. Three, two, one, go! All right. So what is actually pretty neat? Uh, I need, this guy gave me some problems earlier. Boom! Get wrecked. So I don't know. I really like when those dudes just fly off the horses. It's pretty sweet. I'm halfway in a third league in Rival Knights. That's awesome. Ryan, did I study? I mean, I had to play the games. I had to become familiar with them and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, I guess you could say that's studying. Uh, Frostscope, I'll check it after the stream. I promise you. I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, Jamie, you did not win the raffle. I think Pavin Deep won okay. this one. And then Frigazes won the, other, the one earlier. So that's pretty cool. So far, it's been pretty good, uh, Hero Brian. It's been awesome. GFNR, Ben K, hey, what's up? Yeah, dude, perfect start. Going strong. Um, sweet. Free speed boost. 
three free speed boost. Awesome. So right here, um, what we can talk about is there's different events in Rival Knights, and one of them is King of the Hill. And what it talks about is you fight a lineup of opponents, and you have to beat each one. So you fight, like, for example, for this one, I would fight three different opponents. If I beat, like, opponent one and opponent two, that's awesome. But if I lose to opponent three, I actually have to start all the way back over again. So it's you have to be successful through all the matches. So it's really important that, you know, you get on a rhythm and you do well. Whereas, like, for example, I can't go back uh, and show you guys. Actually, that's King of the Hill. A training one, like one of these side missions, is where you can go. You can practice against, like, a really easy opponent. Practice your timings. You'd be good to go. And everything like that. Uh, Lunchbox, yeah, I am actually at... Oh, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> How y'all doing? Hey, yeah, man, had to look clean for uh, E3, you know? Um, I'll be done in a little bit, so I'll catch up with you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. What was I talking about? Training. Yeah, training. You can go in there and fight different people. Uh, let's see. One chance. Here we go. Uh, one chance is where you have only one chance. Like, it's basically like a limited time event um, in a sense that you either win or you lose. You can't go back and play it again. You have to beat this person instantly. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, I can check out the gear. Let's go check out the gear. Good call. So um, in Rival Knights, there's actually over 220 pieces of armor, I believe. It's like over 200 different pieces of armor and everything like that. Lots of different horses, lots of different lances. Um, as you, When you start off, you only have like access to see like certain amount of helms and certain amount of armors and certain amount of lances because you have to progress through to show that like you're a knight that's able to do all of these wear all these different armors and everything like that so we're starting to see like the locked ones so it's pretty sweet um those are the helms and uh, one really really cool thing about the armor is that our production team actually went to like museums like the producer for the production team actually went to museums and took pictures of like legitimate armor that people wore back in like the feudal days when they were actually jousting and uh, was able to use that to like inspire what we put in the game which is pretty sweet hey what's up James 4142 how you doing how's the food at E3 I actually haven't eaten anything except for at the hotel it's been pretty good I uh, went out to a couple different places last night that were pretty pretty tasty. Had a good burger, so that was pretty sweet. A horse naming in a future update. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be okay with that, for sure. Um, let's see. Pistol Programmer, I didn't see your question. So here are some different armors. <clears throat> I believe that Rival Knights is going to Windows, so yeah, it should be out eventually. I think we just had a slight delay. Yeah, no raffles right now. Oh, where did my raffle... Actually, whoops, one second, guys. I closed out my raffle stuff. So we've got all sorts of different armors, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is just the stuff that I have access to in the first chapter of the game. As I go, I, you know, get more... I unlock more armor, more horses, and everything like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So... All of the games that we've developed are using our own engine, our own proprietary game loft engine that's been like tailored for the game that we're developing. So I do agree though, like this stuff looks super solid. So here are some of the horses. This is actually the horse that I'm using right now. I had upgraded it. And it's, I want you guys to take notice, like the handling of the horses is different. So it's like, while you may have like a faster speed, it might be a little bit harder for your person, your character to handle the horse or whatever. So like there's like pros and cons to each different type of horse, which is interesting. So I'm actually going to be saving up for this, uh, the Bay Nagai hobby. I like, I think that's like the best one for me to get next, which is pretty awesome. And then let's go to the lances. So right now I'm just using a basic lance. And again, similar to horses with the handling, there are ways to like, you can aim easier. Some lances like aim easier than other lances. Uh, yeah, I did play MC5 already. So I'm going to be playing it again on Thursday. Definitely tune in if you're interested. 
Um, I'll be showing off some new unannounced or previously unannounced and unseen games tomorrow. I'll be showing off uh, Spider-Man tomorrow actually. You guys should definitely uh, tune in. I think it's tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or Thursday. I'll have to double check my schedule. And I'm going to put up a blog post today with the remainder schedule. So it's going to be awesome. So yeah, as you can see, you have like more damage. Uh, but again, the aiming kind of plays a factor into it. So it's pretty cool. Really gives you a lot of options. And then the last thing you can do is you can do different emblems. So like I could pick a different emblem for my flag or my, uh, my staff and stuff like that. So again, all this stuff is bought through the currency that you earn in games and stuff. Um, it's pretty sweet. Some of this stuff is locked. Obviously, I have to progress th further through the game. But I really want either the sea turtle or the jumping fish. So you get some pretty cool like customization options. Maybe some dire wolf stuff because winter is coming. So yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, and you can change colors and stuff too, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, if you guys did not know, Rival Knights is already out on iOS and Android. And like I said, it should be coming to Windows Phone soon. It's definitely very medieval, but it's pretty cool. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, actually, Rival Knights does have multiplayer. You can like challenge your friends. And you can also participate in different types of tournaments. There's ones where it's like uh, kind of like King of the Hill, like people fight throughout the week, and then eventually there's only like only one left. And then you also have like traditional tournaments where it's like you will joust against one dude, and if you win, he's knocked out for good. If you win, or if he wins, you're knocked out for good. So there's lots of different options. So uh, I'll talk about what I'm going to be streaming for the rest of the week when I'm doing my last giveaway here uh, in like 20 minutes or so. So definitely stay tuned. So let's go back into it. Um, so let's see if I can do, actually let me go back and do this King of the Hill so I can get some more money to upgrade. Um, I think it's really good to do all of the events because like I said, it's pretty awesome to just crush people for one and then get free money when you wreck them. Um, I don't think I need a speed boost because I'm better than this guy in all categories, so we should be good. Perfect starts. Perfect. So it's all about getting the perfect starts and getting the top speeds. It lets you get uh, extra money, which is pretty sweet. Boom. That dude is in the air. He ignores everybody. No way, Pistol Pro Gamer. I just, it's really tough to catch all this stuff every once in a while. I'm sorry, Fair Oaks. There's a mall by my old house named Fair Oaks. Um, let's see. Oh, so I'll be able to talk about uh, the B or Element stuff a little bit more tomorrow when I actually show the game. So that's pretty cool. So what if you both hit the opponent successfully? Then it's going to come down to stats. So it's like, whose stats are better? Um, if you sit, like, in theory, if you both hit at the same time, uh, it'd be like, you know, what stats are better? Do you have higher attack? And if you have uh, better attack and like better defense or better attack, better speed or better defense, and better speed and stuff like that, then you'll be able to win. So it's like, there is logic behind it, which is pretty awesome. It's not just like random, you know, it's just, it's not just like whoever's getting really lucky. Um, let's see. No, Rival Knights is portrait only. And to be honest, I actually like the portrait mode. Um, it's a makes it really conducive for uh, like one-handed play if you want. Oops. Especially like on uh, iPhone and everything like that. Boom. I don't know. I just really can never get over how cool. It looks. Yes, you can play uh, online against uh, like other people in tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, there's different types of events. It's pretty cool. Um, let's actually see events. Okay, so 
right now there's the King's Repass, test your metal against friends and foes, the better you joust, the better the prizes, and then also the Echelon Tournament. Scour the world for opponents, prove that you are the best jouster, the grand prize awaits.